Down across the street from the old bookstore is a flower shop, Megan Mary's. And she has a grease board out front that she puts sometimes poems, sometimes advertising, things like that. And she put on there that our friend, friend, friend Mike lost his van and everything, all his clothes and everything. And she took up a collection with the other flower girls. And, in five days, I collected over $2,000. Oh, wow. I went out and bought another van. That's awesome. <laughs> well, yeah, that's one reason why I still have to partake in Pioneer Square. Well, I'll miss, I'll miss it, but I'll still be there a couple days a week because I wind the clock down there in front of the old store. Uh, you'd be amazed at the number of people that walk up to me on the corner and ask me what time it is. And I just look up at the clock and they wonder what they think I'm looking at the sun or something to yeah. tell them what time it is. <laughs> and then they realize, oh, dang, there's a clock there. <laughs> a lot of people don't even see that. <laughs> it, it's funny what people don't pay attention to. This is for my customers. I want to thank everybody in and around the square. And don't regret, I am not completely gone. I will be down there a couple days a week at least. I haven't quite figured out my schedule yet. <laughs> well, I'd like to make a special thank you to Megan, Mary, and the Flower Girls for helping me out when I was in complete despair. <laughs>